Hi, my name is Jigoro Kano. I am the creator of Judo and I will tell you a little about my story and how Judo was created. I was born in Kaikij, near Kobe, on October 28, 1860, into an influential family. In 1871, the year of the weapons prohibition, my family and I moved to Tokyo. In my youth, at the age of 18 as a student at the Imperial University of Tokyo, I was drawn to the prospect that a frail man could bring down a giant, despite my modest height of 1.54 m. Thus, I began my training in jiu-jitsu. The search for a jiu-jitsu master who met my criteria of intelligent knowledge was challenging due to the decline of the art. I started training with Tainasuk Yagi, whose style was unknown, and later studied with Hashinasuk Fukuda and Masatomo Iso from the Tenshin Shinyo Ryu School. I deepened my knowledge in Kido Ryu with Master Tsunatoshi Aikubo, uncovering the secrets of these styles. In 1882, I founded my own dojo, the Kodokan, where I taught a modern variation of jiu-jitsu that I came to call judo. I chose this name to dissociate my art from the negative connotations associated with jiu-jitsu practitioners, rejecting paid matches and challenges. The term, do, meaning the way, better reflected my goals of making judo a healthy practice for both body and mind, accessible to people of all ages. Although versed in at least two styles, my relentless pursuit of learning continued. I kept advisors at the Kodokan, some of the best jiu-jitsu masters of my time, who shared manuscripts and scrolls on hidden techniques. Upon encountering Aikido, I attended a class by Master Weshiba and was fascinated. This is the budo I would like judo to become, I mentioned to a student. I sent some of my disciples, including Kenji Tamiki, to learn Aikido, resulting in the creation of the Tamiki Aikido variant with competitions similar to judo. I transformed the deadly techniques of jiu-jitsu into lighter, gentler, and more enjoyable approaches to learning. I introduced an emphasis on good physical fitness and created the first system of belt rankings, using the terms Q for beginners and Dan for graduates. I developed the kimono based on traditional martial arts attire, facilitating grips and body movements. As for the choice of the name, judo, I saw in this art the opportunity to provide exceptional training for the mind and body, intended to be disseminated globally. While jiu-jitsu was not designed for physical and mental education, judo incorporated modern concepts, including techniques from Western Greco-Roman wrestling and scientific training methodologies influenced by the growing European discipline of physical education. On the 70th anniversary of the Kodokan, I witnessed its growth from 9 students and 12 mats to millions of practitioners worldwide, with 500 mats. However, I acknowledge that the path of judo was not without challenges, but we persevered in our commitment to excellence and the spread of this noble martial art.